Hi, I am Dr. Kailash Mirche. I am working as a senior consultant neurologist. Which of the following is correct about epilepsy? Option A, it only affects older adults. Option B, it is always triggered by flashing lights. Option C, epilepsy is a non-contagious disease. And option D, seizures are always violent and life-threatening. The correct answer is option C, because epilepsy or seizures, it does not spread from one person to other person. It's a non-contagious disease. It can affect any age group people and other than lack of sleep, other stressors, not taking food on time, alcohol can induce seizures and it's not a life-threatening disorder. What is the first aid for a patient who is throwing a seizure episode? Option A, restraining movements. Option B, putting a cushion under their head and turning them to right or left side. Option C, make them drink water. Option D, forcing an object into the mouth. The correct option is option B. You have to keep a cushion under their head or any soft material under their head and you have to turn them to the right or to the left side, left lateral position so that the saliva or froth which is there which will come out. It's a common practice that patient attenders will keep some metal objects into their hands that should not be done. We should not restrain them and uh, nothing to be given by mouth at that moment of time. How is epilepsy or seizures? are treated. Option A, herbal supplements. Option B, over-the-counter pain relievers. Option C, anti-seizure medications by uh, practicing medical professionals. And Option D, multivitamin and nutraceuticals. The correct option is Option C. Epilepsy is treated by medications. We have different types of anti-epileptic medications. With that, it can be treated and it does not Herbal supplements will not affect these seizure patients and that's not the modality of treatment. Even multivitamin or uh, nutraceuticals will not affect the treatment of epilepsy patient. There are different types of anti-epileptic medications depending upon the type of seizures we usually give the medications.